How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe, and I'm going to be reacting to the season finale of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, Season 1, Episode 6. And before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Who we are now. My name is Michelle. I lost someone. People are a resource. You tried to escape four times. Do you still love me? Please. It sounds simple, right? We bring what we know to the city, then go home. I'm Sergeant Major Rick Grimes. He said I didn't need to be scared. <laughs> we went low to get out of it. We were struck by lightning. I used to think that giving up meant a lack of character. Now I realize that giving up can be a sign of strength. Yeah. I'm glad you made it, Rick. Okufuai. He was never really young. You're meant to be a part of this. Well, show me the other way. Get this breathing. <laughs> Odor looking. Hey, Michelle. Mariah Stokes. If you get that reference, let me know in the comment section below. He wants to talk to you. Deal? I'm in the dirty Rick, work. This is it. I never had to do this. And we're the dead ones, Rick. They're kind of like them. We have this. The sword that gives life. But you were here after everything. Maybe even asked you to carry some of that weight. Oh, stop with Spony. Her room is so messy. Gabriel, and it's in there. Work, Michonne. Burn it up. Gotta burn it up too. Just made a mess. Gotta pick everything up. Now it's the heart. Had to be done. All right, Michelle. Put your gun on the table. A prosthetic with the blade. I want you to reflect on your life. After this next moment, everything will change. To make sure someone else survives. Michelle. Oh, that was it. <laughs> You've made some extraordinary choices, Grimes. The echelon briefing. Just me and the elite soldier in question. It's the start of what's next. A day completely about tomorrow. Are we crazy? Certified. Left home and landed a job at a VFW. I was 15. I went to Vietnam twice. I could have let the world take me away. Is that the bunny from the girl from early in the season? Wonder what happened to the girl. They bombed the cities. Oh, force. I made the decision to take them on ourselves. I saved Philadelphia by sacrificing Pittsburgh. It's not exactly tearing into a person with your canines, but sometimes things have to burn to bring things back. All the plans and sacrifices we lose, we're all gonna die. <laughs> We've discovered million strong dead masses out there. 14 or so years left on this planet. This rock will be cluttered with corpses. It all becomes a strange temporary museum. 14 years. We're trying to beat the odds, Grimes. They're very good at that. CRM destroys communities for resources and to ensure the city's secrecy and security. Sabotage Just them like what we saw in the world influence beyond. their politics. Labs. The world beyond. And in 18 hours, take our final action. We will destroy Portland. We tell the Civic Republic what the CRM does. This is the shit we do. <laughs> Alliance partners dead. We will march across this country. Maybe we get to survive. And all of our people. I'll get back to the Civic Republic and Jadis' helicopter. You expecting a call? Thought it would be good to talk it out. Yeah, I would have stayed in there. To... I think that the next leader, that might be you. You found yourself free, dead to us, you... and you came back. I sacrificed. Put it away, for sacrifice. Who was the person closest to you who's died in all of this? My um, son. You could keep them safe. You could bring them to us family friends a love i don't give a damn if you think you could win bring your people here and will die we will burn things to bring things back swear on the sword swear on the sword don't let it take yeah oh she has a sword ring <laughs> oh i lost myself my wife brought me back so bad. Life. Yeah. Yeah. You kill the head, but I'm assuming someone else is gonna come in his place. 
Bill gave me something to do already. Over. Stuff his body in there. <laughs> Terrible. Has to get down. The scene <laughs> where they're shooting it. No, oh, don't let it close. Ow. Oh, the dodge. Oh. oh, damn. Oh, so lucky. We can't go home. They're evacuating the kids. Then it's the whole city of people because we can't stop them. What's in it? <laughs> what are you up to, Grimes? Bill said I could lead the CRM one day. We could just go. What sort of a world are we making for them if we walk away from something like this? Not seeing our kids growing up. I think about that time. And... We are back. Good night. And she is going to get proud. And if it's her that walks in here, come on. Why would no one not enter here? This is the last little part. I have something for you. <laughs> Daddy, you gotta make sure she stays. You're gonna put it together we finally. We need to take care of this. Jeez. <laughs> All theatric. <laughs> uh, and the deal's gonna pop out. I know you like to. <laughs> She's so put your bag down. You are going to go back inside. When I find Beal, you are going to regret this. Yeah, you're going to fix this. Oh, yeah. We're going to be close. I down. That's gonna help. <laughs> what an explosion. Come on. Look how big an explosion that was. Yeah, I'm okay. We'll just see everybody turn. That was quick. It breaks up quick. There's the one. She survived that. We go. We go. No! Eat that mask. You destroyed our chance! Ooh. Get up, Rick. Come on. I'm sure this took too long. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, man. Now he's cornered. In a dead world, love is dead. That's really a thorn. He had the gun. <laughs> oh, the grenade. Oh. How do you protect himself, though? He used the body to protect him. How do you survive that? <laughs> Uncle Four is right. Uh, like right now, they should be biting. Uh, they don't have the. CRC voted unanimously for emergency oversight. Citizens are now free to leave at will, and the city will. Thank you. Hey, Judith. Man, they better show the interaction with RJ. Here we go. They brought him back. Hey, kids. Meet your father. Very rewarding. Got him back. Fun, Virginia. He is a brave man. I am. But maybe you can call me dad. I knew you'd come back. I believed. Fun reality. Where's the rest of the people you know? Hey guys, I'm home. Alrighty, that was the finale for the ones who lived. That was a pretty good ending. I really wasn't expecting the ending that we got here. I didn't think they were actually gonna make it back and reunite with judith and rj obviously that's what everyone hoped and i'm kind of glad that they delivered on that i was kind of thinking they're going to get stuck at the crm i didn't think they're going to be able to resolve everything you know but i guess they did with that they ended with the big bang there and killing everybody there i don't know how the people that were furthest away from the bomb were able to die right away versus thorn and Rick and Michonne, they they were like they're way close to some other people, and they were able to survive. So I thought that was kind of weird, just the setups and the fight between Michonne and Thorn, where Thorn had the gun. We see her use it kill to kill the Walker that was in front of Michonne, but why didn't she just kill Michonne there, just shoot her? Why get close and let Michonne use her sword on you? I thought that was kind of weird, but beside that, I do like. The whole plan, the idea to blow everything up, to which, yeah, they, they were setting that up. They had this whole briefing. This is the place that both her, both Thorne and Rick helped set up for this briefing with all the big generals and 
people, whatever, within the CRM. So yeah, he killed the leadership and it worked because now the CRC knew what happened and they took over and a lot of their policies and rules changed, letting people leave, they'll bring people in. Looks like they're bringing care packages out. So yeah, just seeing where just the lead up to the whole CRM it was pretty brutal and crazy and seeing it here saw it a little bit in fear of the walking dead we saw it a lot in the world beyond and then now here just to know that they're just gone crazy to think about i do wish we got more of the walking dead crew here like we got father gabriel last episode but my thinking here at the end when we meet with judith and rj that you would think other people from the walking dead crew would be there like they wouldn't be there by themselves obviously Daryl is off in France still. Carol went after him. Negan and Maggie are off in New York. And yeah, I know time-wise, I don't know how much that worked. I kind of forget. Well, actually, the Daryl stuff happened like right after the ending of The Walking Dead. And I kind of forget timeline-wise how everything lines up. But I, that's what I really want, though. I, I don't know what they will do from here on out it did sound like we were gonna get a season two but then also scott m gimple here said that they're gonna do like a whole crossover thing with maggie's show and daryl's show so i i don't know where they could go with that unless it's all the evil bad people from the daryl show maybe the new york people aren't gonna be as formidable we'll see just overall the the whole season probably like a b minus maybe i think the first half of the season was a lot better than the second half like episodes four and five especially five probably being the worst episode of the season and this finale is like felt like a middling episode didn't really feel i don't know it just didn't really feel as grandiose as i like but i do like the ending and i'm glad that our boy rick is back home with his kids he's just been gone for so long and hopefully he'll be able to rest and meet up with the rest of the walking dead so with that said if you have any questions or theories please leave in the comment section below if you enjoyed the reaction please like the video subscribe and i'll see you on the next one